When working with logos or graphics, SVG files are super useful because they can be scaled without losing quality and they have the highest quality at the smallest file size compared to say a JPEG or a PNG file. Now these types of files are typically used in Illustrator where most people do graphic design work. However, you can also create slash export SVG files from Photoshop. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna share two different ways to do it. The first version is gonna be easier if you're just exporting one SVG file. However, the second version is gonna be better if you wanna export multiple SVG files at the same time. So let's get into it. Now here in Photoshop, I have a PNG file already opened. As you can see right here, it says PNG. So we need to convert this image into an SVG file. That way we can get all that scalable vector graphic goodness out of this logo. So to do that, we just have to go to file down here to export and then export as. Now in this export as window, we're gonna go to format and then set the setting to, uh oh, there is not an SVG option here. And that is exactly what most of you are probably going to experience. And luckily it's very easy to fix. So pressing cancel, we are gonna fix this by going to our preferences. On Mac, that's gonna be Photoshop preferences. On PC, I believe that is file and then preferences. If I'm wrong, you can correct me down in the comments below. Within your preferences options, we're gonna to go to export. In the dialog box that appears, we're gonna check off the use legacy export as, and then click okay. Now we're gonna repeat the same process as before, going to file, down here to export and then export as. This time we're gonna be using the legacy export as window and when we go to format, you'll notice we now have an SVG option. So clicking SVG, you now have set that for your export settings. You can adjust your image size as you wish, but then from there, just click export, choose a save location that you would like, and then click save. Now Photoshop will work its magic and your SVG file will be saved in your location on your computer. Now, this is a great option to use when you're just exporting a single image like I just did here. However, imagine if you had a few different layers and you wanted to export all of them as SVG files at once. Well, in that case, there's a sneaky little thing you can do where you actually just add SVG to the layer name. So for example here, I'm gonna just click on my layer name, double clicking there to rename it, and then just type in dot SVG at the end of the name. If you have multiple layers you want to export as an SVG, you're going to do the exact same thing to all of those layers. Now we're going to go up to file and then down here to generate and then click on image assets. I've already clicked on mine so you can see I have a check mark here, but you just want to make sure that that check mark is in fact there. Now what we're going to do is save this image as a project and it's going to create an SVG file within it. By going to file and then down here to save as, the save as dialog box will open where we can choose a location to save our project. With my location chosen on my computer, I'm gonna set my format to Photoshop to create a PSD file. From there, I'll click on save. Click okay. And now let's go and locate that PSD file on my computer. Now here on my computer, you'll notice that I have my SVG example PSD saved, which is the project I just created. But then there's this folder above it that says assets. And if I open that up, there's this little example logo SVG. And if I go and see what file type it is, it is in fact an SVG document. So Photoshop has taken the image asset based on the file extension that we gave it in our layers panel and then exported that asset as its own file. So you can now go and use this SVG file that you just saved in another project, an Illustrator or in another Photoshop project or whatever you're wanting to do. So this is a really helpful option for when you wanna export multiple layers as SVG files at once just adding SVG and then exporting image assets will do just that for you. So now with these two methods, you know how to export SVG files in Photoshop. But if you're working with logos, don't forget to check out my other tutorials on how to change logo color or how to remove the background from your logo if those are two things that you're struggling with. I'll leave a link for those down in the description below or you can find a card for one of them up in the corner right now. Anyways, my name is Brandon from BeWellCreative.com and if you enjoyed today's video and it helped you learn something, of course, hit that like button down below. I really appreciate appreciate it. I appreciate you for stopping by and I'll catch you back here next time. See you then.